welcome back to Cothram Creations. I am starting a new cup. This one is going to be a crackle cup, which is my first time. Um, I know there's other people that have uh, crackle videos on there, but this is just my first time and I want to see my hand in it. And I figured I'd take you along with me on my journey. Okay, I've already prepped the cup. Um, just wiped down with a simple 91% alcohol. Um, I taped the inside because I'm lazy and I hate cleaning up the inside of the cup. It's such a pain in the butt. And I have done a base coat of black spray paint because I want a black underneath my crackle. So as soon as I'm ready for the next step, I will bring you with me. Okay, the paint is dry. And I'm going to attempt to do this one-handed. Oh, you can see fingerprints. That's not good. Oh, it wipes right off. I love that paint. That's pretty good paint. Huh. Anyway, I'm sorry my workroom is messy. Um, but I have a little bit of glue here because that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the Elmer's glue. And I have a little bit of white paint. Now, I'm only going to do half the cup right now because uh, from my understanding, if you try to do the whole thing, you have to have two fans and I only have one fan. So, I'm going to, I guess, put this like this right here. I'm going to turn that. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'm just going to use this silicone brush real quick. And I'm just going to paint this on real good. Okay, laying down, laying down works. Uh, I don't, it, the small cracks, big cracks, it, you know, it really doesn't matter. Um, I just want, want the cracks. Oh, I'm not even in shot, am I? So you got a good shot of some power wheels. Okay. We're gonna, we got a pretty, pretty good coverage. Okay. It says I'm not supposed to let it paint or let it dry for, you know, because you don't want it to turn clear. That way the paint sticks to it. So we're going to give this a shot. And maybe I'm being a little too OCD with this. But, okay, I just have a regular chip brush. We're just going to load my brush up. And here goes nothing. Okay, so far so good. This paint's kind of lumpy. It looks like I need some more white paint. Okay, so. Okay, that's where we're going to go. We're going to stop here. Um, I'm going to get the fan set up, and then when I do the other side, um, I may not camera that one, but I will definitely show when this is done what it looks like. So that way, like I said, this is my first attempt, so... Fingers crossed. Okay, we're back. And I thought I was recording this whole time, but apparently I wasn't. Um, this side come out really good. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with my... Um, since it was my first time doing this. So I've already glued up this side. I got the um, position right so I can start doing the actual paint part. Pardon my hand. Since I'm trying to hold this and paint at the same time. Okay, I'm going to turn this just here. Grab more paint. Okay, so that's done. Then all I've got to do is just do the end. Just do the end. In all reality, I could probably just put the glue on with my um, gloves. Okay, there we go. Like I do my wood grain tumbler, but it's hard to say. Okay. So, now that part's done, time for the fan. We're going to get something to prop this up. So 
since I kind of want it like straight on there. Okay. Hopefully that works. I'm going to have to turn this a bit. So that way the fan actually gets it. Okay, provided this works and I don't actually have to start over, um, that's what it looks like. Good results. Hopefully good results. Hi y'all, we're back. I got the layer of epoxy on. I really like it, it's super smooth. Uh, and now I'm going to apply um, some water decals, like, like water slides. Sorry, my brain is not functioning at full capacity today. Since this is a video of first, this is the first time I'm doing water slide. So this is what the, we're putting on there. This will go right here. And then this one will go on the bottom. Now I purchased these off Etsy and um, I really like them. It was some custom, um, custom clip art that I bought. So I'm, I, I think when she did this, she did a really good job. It looks really cool. So, I've got some a bowl of water here. I'm going to put that in there. I was told it's not a big deal if it curls. Just let it go. Now, this one, I can't remember if you have to seal inkjet or not. Since I have do have an inkjet printer, um, I'm going to go ahead and, and do a, a spray paint. Or, a, not spray paint, but a clear gloss over it before I do the final epoxy. But I'm not real. Oh, okay. Well, that's not what I expected. The ink is coming off. Okay, I'm not sure why that's coming off. Okay, um, apparently I need to read the directions. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, there it is. I guess I need to seal it before I put it on. There it is. Okay. Don't make this mistake. If you <laughs> read the directions before you, I'm not going to edit this out either because this is stuff that, you know, a beginner like me doesn't know. So, I mean, I got inkjet clear water slide decal paper. That's just what I got. I thought it all kind of worked the same. Um, apparently it doesn't. Uh, I can look at the brand. I'll put the brand in the description below. Uh, I guess maybe I need to seal it before I do that. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, this is literally the, the water slide. The ink slid right off of it. It came right off. And... The, it's just it's just there so I guess whenever I figure out what we're doing or how to what I did wrong we'll be back okay um, yes you do have to seal it I did look at the directions I already have the other one on there because since I will have to reprint one uh, so I wet the the this decal and I'm just gonna slide that right on here now, Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Now, I know it's a little transparent, but that doesn't really bother me. Um, it, 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 to me, it looks okay. I, everything else is personal preference. But... I have a cat here here so but I'm not gonna show the other one on there because there's really no reason to you pretty well get the gist of what I'm doing here um, yes you do have to seal it you spray paint the page or you use just I just use this matte clear I didn't worry about it being matte because I'm gonna put a, a epoxy over it anyway and you're not even gonna notice that part but, um, and then I have a silicone brush here that gets everything out. 
you know it's sliding around I did wet the surface first and so and it, it moves pretty easily so I'm just kind of putting in the position I, I want so I like that and I think I'm going to put a glitter in my epoxy when I do it on the, the top part but I still have to add a name since um, um, this will be personalized um, whenever I have a buyer so I guess that will wrap it up for Cawthorn Creations this time. Thank you for joining me on this uh, trip of first. And I definitely learned something. I mean, you know, the crackle part was really easy. I mean, I really, it was, I liked the, the effect and it looks really neat. This, the water slide, it was a little, there's a little bit of a learning curve. Maybe it's just me, you know, not reading the instructions. And so, um, I usually do, but I'm like, oh, I got this. Yeah, it helps if you just read the instructions. Um, or you could do like I do and, and, and wing it and learn the hard way. I was able to salvage this one, which is fine. I mean, so um, we will see you next time and have a nice day.